In signal monitoring applications, normally fast scanning is done to view a very wide band of spectrum. There are two implementations to accomplish fast scanning. Use a traditional scanner or receiver and to use a spectrum analyzer with a wide capture bandwidth. This video will show how to use the Tektronix Mixed Domain Oscilloscope that has a built-in spectrum analyzer with a very large capture bandwidth of up to 3.75 gigahertz. This enables fast scanning over large frequency ranges of interest. The Tektronix MDO4000 is really three instruments in one. A four-channel scope, a 16 digital channel logic analyzer, and an integrated spectrum analyzer. The built-in spectrum analyzer has unique wideband capture bandwidth with great dynamic range. Also, an available preamplifier can be used to improve the instrument's sensitivity to better see low-level signals. Here we see the MDO's built-in wideband spectrum analyzer performing measurements over 3.75 gigahertz. There are two pulse signals shown here captured at the exact same time. One of these signals is higher amplitude and at 1 gigahertz with a 200 megahertz linear frequency modulation. The second signal is slightly lower amplitude at 3.5 gigahertz and a 500 megahertz with linear frequency modulation. In simple terms, this shows how the MDO's wide instantaneous capture bandwidth can be used to achieve a fast scan of a wide frequency range of interest, in this case from 50 kilohertz to 3.75 gigahertz. One of the powerful features available in the MDO is called spectrum time, which is the ability to move forward and backward in time to see how the spectrum changes over a given time interval. It is good to note that the upper portion of the display is the complete acquisition. Just below that is the zoomed amplitude versus time trace, and the spectrum is at the bottom. The spectrum time can be seen on the lower portion of the amplitude versus time displays, shown by the moving short orange bar. This is the time period corresponding to the spectrum view. Here we see the spectrum over a portion of the pulse selected. Because this is a linear frequency modulated pulse, we are not seeing the entire frequency bandwidth for each pulse. Rather, we are seeing a portion of the pulse's spectrum. In this case, the spectrum time is for only approximately 640 nanoseconds so we will see the spectrum over that time. The user can easily adjust the spectrum time's length and offset with the instrument's controls to view the spectrum at different times. Sometimes it will be necessary to take a close look to see more detail of an individual pulse. In this case, we have three displays shown on the MDO over a 1 gigahertz bandwidth. Now, we are viewing the frequency versus time over the same time duration as the spectrum time. We have selected a time period that includes a complete pulse. There are 200 nanoseconds per division on this display, so we are looking at two microseconds of signal to see an entire pulse. We can position the markers to measure the entire frequency chirp bandwidth, which is around 500 megahertz. This is the corresponding spectrum, which is comprised of the appropriate FFT results from the same time record used to construct the frequency versus time plot above. With eScope, you can access and control any internet-connected MDO4000 series oscilloscope from a web browser on your computer or mobile device. The MDO eScope is a web server and no additional software is needed to be installed on the computer or mobile device. Again, the MDO is three instruments in one, and this video is focused on the built-in wideband spectrum analyzer. There is also a four-channel scope and a 16-channel logic analyzer, and the MDO allows you to correlate measurements taken from any of these inputs. The MDO's built-in wideband spectrum analyzer gives you the ability to capture and analyze wideband signals and see how they change over time. When additional RF measurements are required, the MDO can save the underlying IQ signal data and load this into Signal View. Signal View includes a pulse measurement suite, which can automatically characterize 27 different vector and scalar signal parameters. These measurements 
can be used to specifically characterize individual attributes of a given radar.